Hi everyone, I'm Chi Peng Liu from Simons Institute. Today I will be talking about the work on the feasibility of unclonable encryption and more. This is a joint work with Prabhanjan, Fatih, Xinjiang, and Mark. The talk is about using quantum information to do some uh, something interesting about cryptography. And perhaps the most fascinating phenomenon about quantum information is the unclonability. It says a piece of quantum information cannot be cloned into two identical copies. This so-called no-cloning theorem leads to a new exciting area about quantum cryptography, which we call unclonable cryptography. Here, instead of building and analyzing the security of classical scheme against quantum computers, we are interested in what quantum computer can bring us. There are a line of work leveraging unclonability, including quantum key distribution and quantum money. Among those, one major area is to make classical crypto system unclonable. This security says there's no way uh, to copy a key or copy an identity or even a ciphertext. This is a way of enhancing the classical security even further. For example, achieving everlasting security. And just like one-time pad is the most fundamental primitive to cryptography, one-time symmetric key unclonable encryption is the simplest yet most important primitive we should consider. The question was first proposed by Gossman and studied by Broban and Roy. Broadband and Lord consider the following security notion. Encryption of a random message is given to an adversary. This encryption is a quantum state. The adversary attempts to, pro to produce two ciphertexts. And later on, keys are revealed. The adversary wins if and only if both copied ciphertexts can be used to recover the original message. Broadband and Lord show that it is uh, po actually possible either in an information theoretically secure way or in the random or in the quantum random oracle model. However, this is not the optimum security as it does not rule out the possibility that the adversary recovers non-trivial information about the message. For example, they can uh, maybe they cannot both recover the whole message, but they can learn the first bit of the message simultaneously. And they identify the problem, but they cannot give any security proof even with stronger assumptions like oracles. And in this work, we show that in the random oracle model, the optimum security can be achieved. The, opt the optimum security is defined with a CPA style, that is the chosen plain text attack style. In this security game, a pair of messages are chosen by the adversary. An encryption of uh, one of the message M0 or M1 is given to an adversary and it attempts to produce two ciphertexts. And later on, um, it also um, will get the keys. And the adversary wins if and only if it knows which messages are encrypted uh, uh, independently using the, the encryption and also using the key. The probability should be very close to half. Intuitively, it says, regardless of what cloning strategy is used, ciphertext can only go uh, one way, that is either go the upper path or the lower path, and the other encryption will be completely junk. And this is our uh, main theorem in the work. We show that there exists an unclonable encryption scheme in the quantum random oracle model with optimum security we just mentioned before. And we also have other results. The first result is to justify our uh, the use of random oracle we prove that unclonable encryption cannot both uh, cannot simultaneously satisfy uh, being information theoretically secure and also being deterministic. In other words, you, uh, you, uh, to achieve the optimum security, you need either computational assumption or you need the scheme to be randomized. And we also show applications to copy protection for point functions. This is everything I want to talk about today. Please come to our talk in Crypto 2022. Thank you.